Today we talk about the Crystal of Insanity. I'm going to show you guys how to get it and where to get it. First place you can get it is from the Eerie Crystal on the Timeless Isles. You fly out to the Timeless Isles, it's in a cave system. You can see all the dots on the map of where people have marked it, it's dropped. All these crystals sit in the cave. You loot the crystal, you have a chance of getting it. It's only a 3% chance, but the crystal spawns so fast that you can get it pretty quickly. And I'll demonstrate to that to all of you. So the second way you can get this is through Sulk Shore, and he's an NPC um, that spawns in <clears throat> excuse me, Valley of the Four Winds. Now it's he, he's got a two hour spawn rate. I mean it's it's one to two hours in between. If you're the Alliance Shrine, which would be right about here, just fly down and fly over um, to this spot on the map. I'm going to show you guys exactly where it is. If it's Horde, you fly towards the Alliance Shrine, or just straight down from the Horde Shrine into the Valley of the Four Winds. Um, the drop chance for the crystal on him is 10%. So you either sit there and wait one to two hours for him to spawn and kill him over and over again, or, in my opinion, the smart thing would to do, just go to the island and have a 3% chance every time you loot one of these crystals, which spawns probably every two to three minutes, and they're all over the cave. So let's get to it. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. the first place to get the crystal of insanity. Now it spawns on Zulik Shore and if I can right, that is him. Okay, so someone's already coming and killing him. He spawns right here outside this cave. He has a 10% drop chance of dropping the crystal of insanity. I'll show you guys on the map where he spawns. Just north of the heartland. Come out here, kill him. He's not very hard, 1.5 million health. He does a mediocre shadow bolt that does not do very much damage. It, it's even if you're not very well geared, you can come out here and take this guy. He's not the hardest person to take in the world. Um, so now I'm gonna head over to the Timeless Isles and show you guys the cave farming. Um, it can be pretty dangerous over there with the fact of the PvP. There's constantly horde out there, depending upon what server you're on. I mean, if it's a Lion Strong server or if you're horde and it's a horde strong server, then you'll be fine. But for me, on Bleeding Hollow. The Horde are dominant. I, they're probably five to every one alliance. It, it's hard to farm out there sometimes and do other things in Horde Strong areas, but I'm going to go out there and see if I can get this crystal for you guys. Okay, so I'm out here on this Horde Strong server now. So we're going to try to be careful and go into this cave right here, which I'm going to show you on the map. This cave is the cave that contains the crystals. I can actually see one right there. Eerie Crystal. Now, looting these crystals give you the chance of getting that crystal insanity. Now, the only problem with being in here is these mobs are strong, these 90 elites. Um, fighting them is not super difficult, but they can do a lot of damage. Now, the way to get away from taking all that damage is grabbing that. Ooh, hello, buddy. So this gives you the fire damage taken or used by 50%. So now these guys aren't going to pound me super hard. And you can see when you have it, they're not super hard to defeat. I'm out of <laughs> Although if you stand in it when they were doing that last attack that you just saw, um, it bursts up from the ground and it does a lot of damage. It, it hurts. So now let's see if we can get the crystal to actually drop. Oh, wow, I just got it on the first drop chance. Okay, that doesn't happen very often. With a 3% drop chance, I just came in here and got the crystal of sanity in the first drop. Now, this item is awesome. In my opinion, replaces, especially if you're a raider. Let me just go into, there's PvE, PvP. So if you're a raider, um, this, this in my opinion, replaces all potions. I mean, it's 500 in all stats, I mean. Okay, 500 in all stats. Lasts an hour. Has a 15 minute cooldown. You can put that on every 15 minutes. And if you're in a raid, you're not going to wipe every 15 minutes. I mean, you got enough time, you can wipe, you can put that back on. So... I mean, it's honestly super useful for that, but I mean, even PvP, I PvP, and being a PvPer, uh, PvP, 
or rather. Um, all stats increase my under. Well, that's really nice. I, I enjoy that buff in PvP also because, you know, I want to be the best that I can be. So, it, it's really not that hard to get. Um, coming on down to this cave and just looting the crystals is the easiest way. I wouldn't go kill a boss, but I mean, hey, if he's there when you're flying by and you kill him and he happens to drop it, well, right on. I mean, that's awesome. Good for you. You didn't have to fly out to the Timeless Isle and, you know, Horde or Alliance Strong Serve or whatever faction you are and get murdered by people. Um, I was just happened to be lucky, and I actually got it on the first drop on one of my other tunes, too. But, on my mage, it took me about two days of coming in here farming to get it. It's a 3% drop chance. It's all luck. So, come on out here, get your Crystal of Insanity. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Give me some info on some next videos that you guys want to see or some more different types of guides and tutorials on different items. I'd be happy to do them. Thanks for watching.